These two fighters promised us an offensive show. Let's see if they deliver. Which fighter will say no loss? Through the hook, didn't land. It doesn't always pay to be first. It pays to be last. Not too many seats to be had in this arena as the hype continues to build for this showdown. Listen to them, listen to them. You can, you can hear the noise, but you don't know what they're saying. It's that loud. I'm sorry, man. I'm shouting you here. I'm sorry. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. He gets out of the way of that left hand. Coming back to life now. Starting to land some punches. He misses with that jab. And he misses with that jab. Nice job landing that left counter punch. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Well, he is glad to have heard that bell. The bell, sometimes it can be the sweetest sound. And there's the bell for round two. One moment changes everything, especially in this division. Trying to answer that. Let's then step back for just a moment. Counterpuncher is going to wait for you to move first and then will strike like a snake. Keep an eye on this guy. They have got great ring IQ. Counterpunchers are the best. <laughs> Gotta let your hands go a little bit. It's okay to be aggressive now. Some nice exchanges from both men in this ring. This is that jab. This fight is all about distance for this man, and you can see he's using that length advantage. Very smart, very sharp. This is the fit young man style that he's got to get inside that long reach. Not many fights can do that. Just misses with that jab. You know the scorecards are going to be all over for the place in this one. Well, he is in big trouble here. He may have been saved by the bell. Look absolutely exhausted. What are you going to tell him in the corner? Here's the bell to start round three. Neither man really defending himself. Good left hand.
Sometimes people refer to boxing as a dance, and in these lighter divisions, you've got to have your footwork right or you're going to get blasted out there. This is what you're going to get. You're going to get speed, good footwork. You're going to get punches thrown from head to body. You even get a lot of toe to toe. When you've got fighters at these weight divisions, they'll stand there. They don't hit me, they win. They need a phone box. There's a scoring blow. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Scoring left hand. Good punch. This fighter has determined that they can walk through any punches that their opponent throws, and that's a very confident spot to be in. Work the body, frustrate them, take the mind off the chin, take the mind off the test and everything around them. Work the body, use tactics sometimes to sort of punch you out, box a fight and beat them on points. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Well, we're entering desperation mode here. Gonna need a knockout. Oh, 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 when you think you come up, though, ring away. You walk back to the corner like you've just seen the sun. Back at it in round four. You couldn't write a script like this. This is like Rocky versus Apollo. <laughs> Punch landed. There's no way this fighter can go punch for punch. Their resistance to these blows just isn't the same. I've seen some fights with a granite chin. You can hit them with a sledgehammer, they are not going to move. But then I've seen some mad punches with a chin like a crisp. As soon as you touch them, they're gone. And this is the danger spot. Because if you panic, you get desperate, you get desperate, you make mistakes. If you make mistakes, you get knocked out. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. He is down big time in the score. Wow, it's like two different leagues. Here's the bell for round five. If someone punches that hard, you don't want to trade shots. Miss with that jam. Another scoring shot there. When we talk about a fighter having power, don't just look at the head punches they throw. Look at the body shots. That could be the real difference. You've got to be courageous when you get in there with someone that's bigger, stronger, and faster. You've just got to use brain there. Changes 
from both men in this round. Neither man really defending themselves. Good one. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. Punches that up. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. That bell could not have come soon enough for this guy. Every second, every minute of this fight is important. Every second, every minute of this round is important. You cannot afford to lose it. Start round six. This fighter's sort of the death by a thousand paper cuts approach. He'll hit you a thousand times before you can land one. What you've got to do, Tony, is anticipation. You've got to wait. You've got to. You just got to throw portion to the wind and just hope. You're never gonna know where the shots are coming from. You've just got to put in a guess. fighter but that doesn't always mean success how many times have you seen a fighter chase a superior athlete around the ring and just get picked apart even though they were the one pushing the tempo how do you deal with an aggressive fighter what you do is you fight fire with fight you either give it and back because that's where they're comfortable or you play calm play cool nice punch Looks like he's going to survive the round here, but just barely. That'll be a 10-8 round for sure with the knockdown. You're being put down, you've got to think right, survive, and then give it back the next round. And there's the bell for round seven. is being thrown to the wind. When we talk about a fighter having power, don't just look at the head punches they throw. Look at the body shots. That could be the real difference. Power. That power might be the do or die. That power might be the, the, the equalizer. Just gets out of the way of that right uppercut. That's another scoring shot. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. It's knockout or bust for both of these fighters.
stamina is so important for these two fighters because it allows them to use their skills throughout the match. It can all come down to who's in better shape. What can they change? Can they slow the pace down? Can they help them to, to knock them out early? What can they do? They've got to concentrate and relax. Because you know what you can do in the gym. You can do it in the flat. You've got to relax. Punch scores. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. And a round that seemed like an eternity for them finally comes to a close. Leaves a knockout without a doubt. Needs to go out there and think, right, you know what? Next round, you're getting it. You're getting it. Kitchen sink. And we're off again. When someone punches that hard, you don't want to trade shots. Back and forth they go. So far, it seems like aggression has been the key. This fighter just not slowing down. I've seen some aggressive fighters like this, and they are a nightmare. If you are not fit, if you are not fit, that is the worst place to be, having second thoughts in the ring. Perfect punch. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. That left hook misses. We both know who the bigger power puncher is. There's a significant power difference. How would you handle that? Sometimes when you get in there with someone that's so powerful, you can't think of You just gotta be smarter than them. You gotta be like a little favor and pickpocket them. And back to life now, starting to land some punches. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Exhausted. What are you going to tell him in the corner? Let's see how much fatigue we see here in round nine. He fails to score with that left hook. Both men step back for just a moment. How much confidence do you build when your opponents hit you with their best shot and you walk right through? This is when you get in the ring feeling like you're King Kong because you know you've got a chin that is not going to get dented. There's no way this fighter can go punch for punch. Their resistance to these blows just isn't the same. Why aren't they defending? Stamina is so important for these two fighters because it allows them to use their skills Throughout the match, it can all come down to who's in better shape. What can they change? They can change their attitude. They can change their, their nervous system for a certain amount of punches per round. Because otherwise, if they deviate from the game plan, they're going to be shattered once again, and the fight will be over.
Nice exchange here from both men. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. The game plan does not seem to be working here. What's he have to do different? The bell sometimes it couldn't be the sweetest sound. certainly not going to outthrow their opponent by any means, but they will, when they hit, be a lot harder. Todd, we know one of these fights can knock you out with a simple jab. They're that powerful. That shot lands. from both men in this round. How do they use this fighter's aggression against them? Sometimes when you have a fight, the best way to beat a fight is not give them what they want. Because they want to get you there. They want you to stand there, time to close them, and have a tail. That's what they do in the gym every single day of the week. What you've got to do is you've got to frustrate them as they set their shots. Get out of the way. And they'll get so angry, so frustrated because they can't work. Left hook just missed. They are not going to let this one go to the judges. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. You see how much endurance these two fighters have. There's a lot on the line here. This is the 11th. We've entered the championship round. Nice punch. We both know who the bigger power puncher is. There's a significant power difference. How would you handle that? It's the one who draws first blood top. That's what you've got to look at. If you hit and you know you're in there with a banger, you've got to be on it, but you've got to be confident. And he just missed with that left jab. That left scores. exchanges from both men in this round. I think it's safe to say one of these fighters certainly has a significant speed advantage. You can tell who it is. Some fighters are just gifted. Gifted with such hand speed, footwork, movement. They are gifted. They are the chosen few. That jab misses. Game of joust. They both got their swords. They're slinging it. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. put in for this fight and they come down to that you cannot cast out if you prepared right slept right ate right and did everything right for this fight you have no excuse for gassing out who thought we would have made it to 12. how 
nervous would you get when you know you're facing a big puncher like this guy that can seriously hurt you? I've seen certain fighters that can depend on just their power alone. Forget tactics. They know the second they touch you, it's done. That's where the confidence comes from. Missed him with that uppercut. Swing and a miss with that hook. That one lands. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. One of the best attributes to have in boxing has nothing to do with boxing. It's how well you can take a punch to the face. Todd, you know what? Sometimes when a belly in the ring, you fight like that, and you punch them, you just want to run. You want that spaceship to come and lift you out of there because you think, what the hell am I going to do now? Nice shot with the left. A lot of defense here at all. Good punch. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Well, it's go back to the drawing board time. A unanimous decision victory. Unanimous. You know what? Smart, smart that is. A total change of styles to make sure they got it. At every round in the bag, there was no argument, no discussion, no mistake. It was so obvious.